Hi friends, this is the Nero Research and welcome to the final part of XRP Telegram bot tutorial. Today we will implement history command. It shows 10 recent transactions. Those might be deposit, withdrawal or send transactions. We are in app.js and as usual let's start with bot here's. So bot.here's B history and context as a callback. So if bot receives message that contains keyword history, it will process history command. And once transaction command received, bot has to go to database and fetch all transactions information. So let's type transactions, find, we don't have any criteria to find, so let's leave query empty and here we need to limit our output to 10 transactions and execute query. Execute query and here we'll have callback with two parameters as usual, errors and transactions. Ok, in case of error we'll console log it of course, so console log error, else if our transaction history is empty, so which means we made no transactions, so transactions length equals to zero, because transactions is provided as array, and if we have no transaction history, we'll make a reply to user. ctx.reply You have no transactions history. And finally, if we have some transactions history, we'll, we need to process and for format this uh, transactions array and print it to user. Let's go to models transactions and see which fields we need to use in our reply. Well, we definitely do not need username because that would be always our username, but we need a timestamp converted into normal date format, transaction type that might be deposit withdrawal or history, from field, which could be either our username or XRP address in case of deposit transactions, similar to that might be receiver username or XRP address for withdrawal transactions, and transaction ID that might be null for send transactions, and XRP ledger transaction ID for withdrawal and deposit transactions and of course amount. Ok, so let's go back to app.js and use all fields except username. We need to start with loop through our array for dx of transactions and here we'll construct message. So let message equals to. Firstly we'll provide date, so formatted date, new date dx dot timestamp multiplied by 1000 because we need milliseconds here plus let's type from plus dx dot from plus two plus dx dx dot two plus type plus dx dot type and plus amount plus 
tx dot amount. These are all mandatory fields. Now we need to check whether transaction ID is null or not, and if case or it's not null, we need to add it to our message. So if tx dot tx ID then message plus equal tx id plus tx dot tx id that's all actually finally let's reply to me uh, to user so ctx reply message well, great. Now we can save code, go to Telegram and check how it works. Well, bot is launched and we are in Telegram and let's try to see all our transactions. History and hit enter. And here is a uh, We have formatted date, so it's actually not the best format. But anyways, from address to address, it's actually for our deposit transaction amount and transaction ID. Let's try to find also some send address. Here it is. Send address, date time from binary research to XRP user. Type send amount 1.4 XRP without transaction ID. That looks great. And finally, let's check withdrawal transaction. Yes, here is also date time from the narrow research to withdrawal address. Type withdrawal amount 5 XRPs and transaction ID. Great. Well, friends, that was all. We have finished implementation of XRP Telegram bot. And you may, if you want, of course, apply the same framework or approach to other messengers like Viber, WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, or whatever is best for you. Thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you want more videos, and leave your questions in the comment section below. Bye!